guys, it's Coffee, and today I have something really, really, really exciting to share with you. I am starting a brand new LP and I'm doing it in The Sims 3. I haven't done this in, oh great, the mascot's here. I haven't done this in, I couldn't even tell you when. I haven't played The Sims 3 actively in over a year, and I really just want to kind of reacquaint myself with the game. And today's episode is mostly just going to be introductions, introducing you to my main character here, showing off the house, and talking about what I have planned for this series. So first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my sim and the house. So let's go ahead and hit pause on this. Whoa. Okay. Don't gotta be cray cray. All right. So my sim, let's go ahead and talk about her. We will, we shall do that first. So oops, that was the one I wanted. Okay. This is Gemma Blue and she is my only sim in the household right now. And she is brave, adventurous. She dislikes children. She's frugal and she's friendly. Her favorite music, I believe is Egyptian music. Yeah, Egyptian music, her favorite food is stir fry and her favorite color is yellow. And she is also a Libra. So Gemma, basically what we're gonna be doing with her is not only is this like, <laughs> this is like a uh, Let's Play The Sims 3 freaking legacy kind of sort of, and also choose your own adventure kind of sort of. So let me explain what we're gonna be doing here. So with Gemma, um, I have no idea how, oh, you look pissed, Gemma. I have no idea how long this series is going to run. I, I really hope that it is very lengthy. I want it to run for a while. I want there to be like, I want to just like get back into really caring about my Sims. Cause if you guys watched my all in one LP a long time ago in the Sims three, I cared so deeply about those Sims and I just haven't really been bringing that to my channel and like I don't write backstories for my sims anymore. I don't do anything like that and I really want to with this series focus on doing that again. So basically what I'm proposing with my lovely sim here, this is basically the first generation and I'm gonna go expansion pack by expansion pack per season. And basically the first expansion pack that The Sims released was World Adventures for The Sims 3. So in this first season with this character and this generation, the first generation, we're gonna be doing everything that we can to expand out on World Adventures. So basically I'm just gonna reacquaint myself with the game, play all of the expansions. And yeah, that's, am I making sense? Like I hope this makes sense above anything. And the where where the choose your own adventure comes in is going to be, I'm going to have you guys help me if you can. I'm going to list polls down below. Hopefully in every episode, there will be some kind of decision for you guys to make before the next episode. And today's episode, I need you guys to decide what world we're going to go to first. So if your sim travels to other worlds, kind of like in World Adventures, you know, that's what, uh, that's what World Adventures is all about, if you didn't know. Uh, you can go to Chomps Les Sims, which is basically the equivalent to France. You can go to, I don't know what they call Egypt in this game, but it's something. They have an Egypt place and then they have China. So... I need to know where you guys want me to send Gemma first. And I also need to know, I'm going to look up before the next episode, careers, because Gemma isn't really going to be home that often. She'll be vacationing a lot. So I'm going to need some kind of an entrepreneur career for her, whether that's writing books, whether that's blogging. Um, I'm going to leave stuff down below. I will look them up before the next episode, all of the careers, nothing from ambitions. I'm not going to do anything like that, but basically any career that we can, I would like that very much. Any career that's like entrepreneurship type of a thing that she can take with her on vacation. So I will leave a poll for her job title as well. And um, let's go ahead. Let me show you the house really quick. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about Gemma's character. So ugh, we need to delete this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, this needs, needs to go. Like, don't even look at it, Gemma. Don't even look at it. Oh, is it not going to let me delete it? Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, why curses? Okay. So there's that. So, oh no, I didn't mess this up right here. Let me fix it. I expanded the bathroom a little bit. So the roof got kind of janked. So how do I fix you? Oh my gosh. 
No, but seriously, how do I fix you? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Oh, did it fix itself? Oh, dirt to dirt. That's what's wrong. Okay. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> um, let's just do... Well, I guess that's kind of how it's going to have to be. So it looks a little funky, but we don't care, I guess. <laughs> Okay, whatever. We got a wonked up house. I, again, have to reacquaint myself with this entire game because I don't remember a lot of things. So my bad. But yeah, we have a lot of reacquainting to do. So this is what the house looks like on the outside. As you can tell, we live in Midnight Hollow. And I chose Midnight Hollow because I didn't want to go traditionally with Sunset Valley, which is like the original place that The Sims 3 came with. I didn't want to go traditionally with the Sunset Valley, even though it probably made the most sense. I wanted to go somewhere different. And when The Sims 3, like, kind of was over, Midnight Hollow was one of the last few towns to be added, and I never really played in Midnight Hollow. And I want to mention that when I tell you more about my character, you'll understand, like her backstory a little bit more living in Midnight Hollow. So Midnight Ho Hollow, if you guys didn't know, is more known for being a town full of very eccentric Sims, Sims that are a little bit off their rocker, dress a little bit weirder, act a little bit weirder than your typical normal Sim. I mean, if you could consider any of them normal, let's, let's be real here. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and take a peek inside with you guys. Ugh, that roof, I will try to fix that before the next episode. I need to like make a mental note. But um, let's see. Oh my gosh. And I'm like so not used to the camera either. So that's like another really hard thing. Let me just use tab. If you use tab, it's a lot easier. So coming into the front door, we have our living area. As you can tell, my house is loaded with custom content. You guys know how I am. I very rarely ever play The Sims 3 or, well, I haven't played The Sims 3 in forever, but I don't really play The Sims 4 without custom content. It's just not my style. So lots of custom pieces in here. This is the living room kitchen area. I need to remember to add a smoke alarm, which I haven't done yet because this fireplace is real close to our furniture. I'm just saying. So that is what this looks like. Everything that I that you guys see here, I have gotten from The Sims resources. I don't think I downloaded anything from Tumblr. So everything you see here, everything the light touches. Oh, I put something behind that bookcase. Whoopsies. Okay, so this is a two bedroom, one bath. The second bedroom, we don't have anything in yet. And that is because... I don't know. I just don't know what I want to put in there yet. I have no idea. This is the main bedroom. Super cute. All custom pieces once again. The whole house kind of has a gray, dusty rose theme to it. Uh, this because I mean, she lives by herself. So why not go all out and girly? And then this is our one little bathroom, which is super adorable. And I love it. It's very modern and chic and cute and still feminine at the same time. And yeah, so that's our little our cute little pink house. That is what it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and put these back down. Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you guys a little. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> let's get a coffee sip. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. So backstory behind Gemma. Gemma, um, she is orphaned. Her parents both passed away actually, um, in a car accident. So she has been orphaned not too long. Like she was an adult when her parents passed away, but she has been orphaned for a little bit. So her parents passed away and they were very eccentric, but if you guys have ever seen, the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Gemma is like a cross between Kimmy and Jacqueline. Like if you could put them together in one, that this is what you would get. She's slightly eccentric because of her parents, but she craves normal. She wants to be like that basic bee. Uh, she wants to have a ritzier lifestyle. Um, she wants to travel the world more than anything. She wants to get out of this town because it's full of weird, eccentric, crazy people. And if, I mean, even if you look 
at just her house in comparison to the rest of the neighborhood. Like her home doesn't even fit the theme. And she did this. This was her parents' home and she was left with a small fortune when they passed. Not much. I mean, we decorated the house and we do have some money left over, but it's not a lot, a lot. Uh, but she wants things to be very chic and she definitely is a loner in this town. She doesn't have any friends, no significant other, nothing because she's she's just alone and has never really met anybody that she has clicked with so she wants to travel the world embrace new cultures embrace new people and be an entrepreneur and get out of this town her biggest goal is to travel the world and make enough money so she can move towns and basically get away from midnight hollow and you know potentially find her soulmate in the process now for her traits i know i already told you what they were but i did give her the adventurous trait and whoever she ends up marrying or dating or whatever we decide, um, whatever you guys decide, probably I'll probably end up having it as another poll between a few people. Um, they are going to have to be adventurous as well or have some type of trait that goes alongside the world adventures expansion. Uh, she's brave. I did that because I know she's going to be going through tombs and things when she goes to Egypt. I have her as dislikes children because a, she doesn't know any children, never been around them. She's an only child. And B, she wants to travel. And I'm not saying that you can't travel with kids. I'm just saying I know that it is a lot harder to do that. <laughs> and you can't travel with toddlers or babies in this game. So she doesn't really like kids and doesn't know if she ever wants to have them. Um, I mean, obviously somewhere along the lines that will have to change because we'll need a next generation, but it won't be for a long time. Uh, she's frugal. I did that so she could save money traveling and she's friendly because she wants to embrace those new people and new cultures. So that's kind of it for this first episode. I know there wasn't really any gameplay, but that's because I need you guys to decide where we're going to send Gemma on her first adventure. Oh, and the other thing I need to share with you before I go... Oh my gosh, I don't even know where it is. Is it listed right here? What's this? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, it's right here. Derp. Um, her lifetime wish is to be a seasoned traveler, which I'll just read it to you guys really quick. Sophisticated Sims who travel extensively and spend time in foreign locals, in foreign locals become wild, worldly and wise, but only those who work hard... Only those who work hard at earning the respect and trust of the locals will be able to acquire a coveted max level visa in France, China, and Egypt. Through opportunities and adventures abroad, your sim will befriend others and become welcome wherever they go. So she wants to reach max level visa for th all three destinations. And I think it would be really cool if we have enough time in her lifespan to actually have vacation homes or at least one vacation home in one of the other countries. So anyways, that's Gemma's story. I'm really excited to go on this adventure with you guys. Guys, please, please, please don't forget to vote in the polls down below. Uh, that's going to be really, really important so that I can actually continue the gameplay how it's meant to be and how you guys really want it to be. So again, there's going to be a poll for which country we should visit first. And there's going to be a poll for what type of entrepreneur job she should have. And I will list all of the options in each poll. There will be links to them in the description bar. And um, that is pretty much everything. I hope you guys like this introduction episode. I'm again, I'm so excited to be bringing this to you. I'm so excited to immerse myself in these characters or characters that are to come. And uh, that is everything. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at coffee YT and my secondary channel. I put up a new video today that is actually like showing off my cat. So if you guys want to see that, please do head over there. There'll be a link at the end of the video. And um, yeah, this is coffee signing off. <music>